for all the marbles I, I right a, here. I put a poll up for the people in my chat box. Go ahead and vote. I put uh, the pick gonna be Zay Flowers or Joy Porter Jr. And I'll tell you the, you know, the results once we do our thing. Okay. All right. Let's, let's see. Let's see what. Let's see what uh, the sip the tally folks think it's gonna be after we go through. But okay, Chris, you up? Your guy. You got him here. <laughs> All right, the, the little fella Zay. All right, um, so Zay Flowers. Uh, so right now we're at a standstill with the franchise quarterback, and a lot of the reports are, you know, he's putting the Ravens' feet to the fire when it comes to the wide receiver position. Um, I don't think they're done adding to the wide receiver position. I think there needs to be one more person added onto this, and I think Zay Flowers would be the perfect player to put on on the in the wide receiver room not only for this season but also for the future because looking ahead i know the ravens have an immediate you know hole at cb2 right now but for the 2024 season your ravens wide receiver room is rashad bateman tylen wallace shamar bridges that's it when you look at the cb room is marlon humphrey Brandon Stevens, Jalen Armar Davis, Pepe Williams. There's one that's a little, I feel a little bit more comfortable building with than the other one. And that's why I lean more towards wide receiver because it's someone that can impact right now and be completely different from what we already have in the wide receiver room. So he brings something else to the room. And then also he's building towards the future. So, I think Zay Flowers, you make Lamar happy, you know, you bring him another weapon, another guy for Florida, you know, a, a, a different type of cat, not just and not just a, a small dude because uh, people just want to lump Zay and Hollywood in the same thing. And they're two completely different players, completely different. So um, I think you you kind of kill two birds with one stone with the, the wide receiver pick and, and Zay Flowers rather than going with the CB pick, in my opinion. All right, Denard. <laughs> we go. So, I'm looking at as a whole. This team has drafted <laughs> and spent on offense. You look at Stanley, you look at Zig Zeigler, you look at the Moses, you've got Andrews, you, and now you have to pay Lamar, right? The way you stay competitive, you have to draft on one side of the ball. You can't pay on both sides of the ball. And we saw last year with the defense, as they've built it, as they've drafted, they've got their safeties in place, they've got their linebackers in place, and they have their D-line in place. What they're don't have right now is the functionality of the corner position. Pepe's nice, but he ain't gonna do much for you. JAD, most likely a strong pick. Let's be real. Now you're looking at corners and you're looking at positions that for the first time in about 10 years, you're, you're, you're not as confident in that corner position as you've been in recent years. This gentleman comes in with a pedigree, with the opportunity to say, this is my job for the next 10 years. He can come in right now and start for you right now and make a difference. We're not worried about 2024. We're trying to win a Super Bowl right now. This man right here is going to give you that opportunity and that ability to shut down people and not have to rely on your offense to score 35 points a game. Okay. There it is. All right. I don't think coaches had a chance to break a tie, so I think you're gonna be in the in in, in the tiebreaker right. spot. You're right. I have not. You're right. Okay. You're, right. you're gonna be in the tiebreaker spot this time. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go carry second. Then we're gonna put coach up there. All right. Um, listen, I love Zay Flowers. I love Zay Flowers. And Chris made a good point about Lamar and the contract stalemate. And look, there's that report out there. A bunch of reports out there right but that one about hey he he go out and get 
Odell go out and get DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know if it went down like that or not. Of course, this guy wants great players. He wants receivers. We know he wants that, but I don't know if he's making demands or anything like that. But you, so I don't know that. But you know, you, what I do know, what I think I know is he probably didn't say, go get me a quarterback. <clears throat> Probably didn't say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh obviously you know what Lamar wants. And I think, you know, he's been in one type of system, you know, since he's been with the Ravens. And he's talked about it, even though he's been, you know, the good soldier, the good teammate. I think he's pretty much, you know, not not blowing it up to the to the point where he could have blown it up. We've seen other players do it in the league, blow it up. You know, he made his little comments here or there, but I think he's like, hey man, look, it's time. It's time. OK, take the training wheels off. It's time. And let's see, you know, give me some legit dudes on the perimeter and let's see. Right. We want to know. Let's see. So all of that sounds like I'm a pig's a flowers, but I'm going to pick Joey Porter Jr. <laughs> <laughs> because despite <laughs> all of that that I just said, Chris has mentioned this several times now when he went through that room, he went through that cornerback room and I'm like, hey. We need somebody else in that room right now, okay? We need another young dude, regardless of whether they bring in a vet or not, regardless of whether they bring back MP. But we know where MP is at in his career, regardless of whether they bring in Rock Yassin. We kind of know what we think Rock Yassin is in the league. We need another dude, Marlon. All right, Marlon's still, you know, young vet in his prime, but the clock waits for no man. Mm -hmm. So it's time to start, you know, preparing that room, you know, not to turn it over per se, but to kind of have that next wave. And you have a prime opportunity with this guy and Joey Porter Jr. and all the dudes you got to deal with in your division, let alone beyond the rest of the AFC. I'm going Joey Porter Jr. Kerry, who you got? All right, man. So I'm going to go with kind of following the tea leaves and following what what is being said, the, the intention behind what's being said. We know the Ravens are looking at corners. But what have they said multiple times this all season? They're going to try to fix the wide receiver room. I don't think that fixing the wide receiver room stopped with Odell Beckham Jr. Just like last year, fixing the uh, office alive didn't stop with signing Morgan Moses. I think they're going to take multiple shots at it. Um, li listen to that pre-draft um, um, presser. I try to pay attention to the out of character things. Did you hear Harbs up there talking about Addison and Zay Flowers? Love him some Zay Flowers. I thought they gave George <laughs> Tease the mic. You don't, <laughs> you don't see Harbs talking, giving the details and talking about players in that way on those pressers, at least that, not that I can remember. You know, he was kind of detailed in, in what he was saying about these players, specifically, um, you know, Zay Flowers, a, a quicker space type of player. That stood out for me. DaCosta saying multiple times he wants to fix the room. He's not shying away from any of that. They're going to keep taking shots. That sticks out to me. One last thing that stuck out to me, um, Matt Wallman, an honorary fourth member of deep cover podcast <laughs> says that if zay flowers cleans up some of his technical issues um catching the ball that he would grade him as the best skill position player in this class mm -hmm. b john robinson included mm -hmm. i that's that's praise i do not take light so uh, I'm, I'm going with zay flowers this is what I wanted. All right, Coach Evans, <laughs> you are the tiebreaker. Mm. Yeah, it's on mm, you mm, mm. for the championship, <laughs> Coach. So, no so first off, I, I will say this: Chris would have would have had a better argument had he not forgot one name when he called out those wide receivers. <laughs> When he went through the wide receiver room, he did not mention Channel 3. Mm, formally. Completely channel forgot three. about New channel, channel 3. New channel now. Oh, he, he, oh he's, he's, he's not going to be on the roster in 2024. But he's there now, and you didn't. You had an opportunity to say Prochet, and you did not. No, no, no. No, when I, I, listed, I, 
when I listed the room, I said 2024 wide receivers on the contract. So it's only it's only three right now. It's Rashad you. Bateman, um, Tylen Wallace, and um, Shamar Bridges. Uh, have you, James have you seen game shows going. where you had to sway the judges. <laughs> 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 oh, no, you, you gonna tell us your poll first? Oh, I gonna tell us your poll. Let, let me tell you the poll. Let me tell you the poll. This contract is up after this year. Okay, let me let me let me tell you what the polls are. What the people say? Yeah, you got to build it up. All right, the people, the sip the side of the audience, seventy eight percent to twenty one percent. Zay Flowers, mm. Mm. big. They went big on it. Yeah. That's that's the people in, on, on my poll. I'm surprised yeah. it's such a big gap. Hey, but, 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 <clears throat> yes, Harps talk a ton about receivers. And he, he even went into detail and did stuff he normally don't, you know, mentioning receivers on a post game, you know, I mean, not a post game in a the Liars luncheon. Keep in mind, it was the Liars luncheon. <laughs> and when we, when people think we zigging, we zagging. With that being said, Despite all this overturn offense that we need, and you know, receiver, receiver, Lamar, they're gonna do what they do because he is the most stubborn guy around. And despite Eric DeCosta being the GM, Ozzy and, and Harbs is making these picks, and that means we're going to have to see Joy Porter Sr. wear purple and black next mm. year. Mm. <laughs> My pick is Joy Porter Jr. Is it your pick or what you think they're gonna do? It's what I think they're gonna do. Okay. Who would your pick? Uh, that hands down, Zay Flowers. Okay.